You uncultured swine. But, 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 Have a son? Yeah. I know he has a daughter named Lisa. Okay, it's running. Dan O'Pan. I don't know anything about Steve Jobs' life. <laughs> well, at least for his All kids. All I'm sitting there thinking now is Dan O'Plan. Lisa needs braces. Dan O'Plan. Lisa needs braces. And I don't even like The Simpsons. Oh my God. Cinnamon. So, they won't even tell me what's wrong. It's just iTunes stopped working. Windows will close the program and give you a solution if available. I don't even remember the last I <laughs> <coughs> And when you see Big Papa's obituary, it'll say hung himself. Fuck you, Apple. F Y uh, well, an Apple if, tree, by the here, way. How about this? <laughs> if I'm having this problem. Oh, Dan, you can't be funny when I'm taking a drink. Mm. <laughs> if I just I'm, about spit it all over my monitor. If I'm having this problem and no one has updated their iTunes to 11.2.2, don't. Because if you do, you won't listen to this on iTunes, would you? Where is my iTunes? Well, maybe, maybe if oh, I don't have that. iTunes reinstalled on here yet. <laughs> You better have. You better find the old program. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. I, I. Well, I don't think he needs don't use iTunes. It. Yeah, I don't. Need uh, it. he doesn't. But I'm saying for anybody who wants to listen to this audio format instead of on YouTube, go use Media <laughs> Monkey or on the Android phone. You can use. I use the app called Podcast Republic, and it actually searches the iTunes uh, library. And yeah, then, on the phone it's fine. I just gotta download the podcast app, and I'll find it, and it'll download to my phone, or I can stream it through my phone. But as far as the actual program, it's been a bitch. Yeah. Oh, professional moment number one, <laughs> and we turn the phone on. <coughs> I don't know why I got uh, all over excited with the super long and at the beginning, but it happened. Get over it. It happened. Okay, good. Yeah, we're over it. So let's. Okay, first, let's bring up um, uh, Smash Back at Cancer. Okay. Uh, July 19th. Twitch.tv forward slash smash back at cancer from noon Eastern till noon Eastern the next day. Yes. Yes. That's our, that's our good friend, Brett back smasher. Rev sick. That guy. Go check it out. Yeah, they're, yes. still, they're still at the hospital currently. They're just like doing tests on from, from what well, he told me. It's, it's the same thing as last time. It's the same thing he's been the past, what, two weeks? Yeah, but he's, he's hitting hard times. Trading fluids. And I, it seriously, it might be just the fact that because he hasn't been on chemo in those two weeks, that his body probably got used to the chemo as much as he didn't want to. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Speaking of doctors, <laughs> I, I had to go see one yesterday. Well, I didn't. The wife did. Right. And so we go to ER, right? Mm. The emergency room. And the reason we went, like she'd been sick in, in bed for like since Monday morning, right? But all of a sudden half her face is like swollen up. And it's like, well, no, hun, we better go see a doctor. Something's not right here. <laughs> this is not a normal flu. Allergies? Uh no, not allergies. But we go to the doctor, and this is the thing. Okay. The, the nurse comes in and he's like listening to her tummy make noise. Right. And another doctor comes in and asks questions about, um, uh, stuff coming out without going into too much detail detail. Right. Mm -hmm. And we wait there for two hours and you know what? Neither, neither nurse had done by that point. Check it out at her face. I'm like, we're here. 
because her face is swollen up. (laughs) And they're asking, like, you know, how long since you pooped? How long since your period? And I'm like, but her face. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, like, I'm not a doctor, but her face. That's why we're here. So anyway, that, that was a good three hours of life. And, you know, she's got her pills and she's on the road to recovery and she's off work for a couple more days. So she'll be fine. But I just, and I mean, maybe it's because I'm not a doctor and I don't know what I'm talking about, but it seems like to me, when you have a swollen face that we should look at your face, right? No. Yeah. Uh, same instance when I used to go to the doctor for like stomach pains, they would never check my stomach, but they do more blood tests and check my pulse and everything. Make sure it's like, I, I, I actually wouldn't even know. I don't know what they were checking for, but they never really like check. Like, how would you check for that? They usually just push down a little bit, but then they'll, they did more tests on blood than anything else. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't get it. And like I say, it's probably because I'm not a doctor. But so, and because of all that, and then because I fell asleep last night on the couch, I slept for like 12 fucking hours total. And I never do that. Uh Do you feel refreshed? I feel like, like, okay, yesterday was a day off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I woke up in the morning. Of a little bit of sleep, fumbled around, and then I ran into town. I had to go see my mom, and uh, I was going to go to Canadian Tire, and I had some gift cards, and I forgot them at home. So I came back to home to grab the gift cards, and that's when I saw my wife's face, and I'm like, well, no, we got to go to the doctor. <laughs> so we go to the doctor, and then we hit Canadian Tire, and well, we hit Walmart to get her prescription, and then we hit Canadian Tire. And then we go back to Walmart and a half hour later, the fucking bottles still aren't filled. And I'm like, what the fuck are you people doing? Like, geez, how long does it take to put some pills in a fucking bottle? Like, really? Am I on crack? Like, they did they it. have to, like their gel caps, did they have to build the pills? Maybe. Because I could see that taking a half hour. That makes sense to me at least, right? You have all this powder, you have to put it in the gel caps. I get that. That makes sense. So maybe that's what happened. But anyway, so I grab, you know, my charcoals, my lighter fluid. It's raining like a bitch, but I'm like, fuck it. I'm building my barbecue. annex. I got a new barbecue on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Nice like- little fucking stand up charcoal unit. And it, it's, it's more like a wooden stove. Cause there's like the underneath and there's a little trap door where you could stoke the fire and shit, mm-hmm. but I didn't build it yesterday. I did not hang my light. Uh, the, the light I got to make the green wall proper so that I can make all the videos that the bitches love. <laughs> the bitches don't love it. Um, and yeah, I went to sleep. So that, that was my day off. I literally accomplished nothing. But my wife is going to be okay, and I guess that's accomplishing something. That's proper. Right? Yeah, what was I going to say? Well, the fact that, you know, <laughs> she's alive and well. I hate this fucking chair. Yeah. Sorry, my chair fell backwards and I kicked my table and now my shin hurts. But at least my whole table didn't. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, the, the wife is good. So, yeah. Actually, I had to laugh because you know how when people get sick, they get mopey? And she even said to me, sorry for wasting your day off. I'm like, no, honey, we're not. (laughs) It's not like that. (laughs) And then I complained about her wasting my day off. So maybe it was like, I don't know. I don't know. I was going to go to Canadian Tire. (laughs) That's not what what his was. I have a day off. I can make videos. Yeah. And that didn't happen. (laughs) Speaking of videos, I just wanted to reiterate something. I just thought of it again this morning. Um, And by the time this gets posted, it will be one month, right? Since that story hit about YouTube buying Twitch. And if you go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash team white trash, and you look right around a month ago, I made a video called YouTube is not buying Twitch, dumbass, or something like that, right? Mm. And guess what? When I go looking at the story, nobody has posted a fucking thing about it 
in the since that month because it's not news right now because it's not a real story well that you're still posting stuff on twitter about cm punk not glad he's not coming coming back back. (laughs) (laughs) oh oh god well the the problem is is cm punk keeps coming up (laughs) but i think i think which does it it's not on all the time. It's not having huge ass events like E3 and the Smash and the Smash Brothers fucking whatever. I thought you were gonna, the, the C- C- gonna say huge events like E3 and the Smash back. I was gonna say Smash Mario. I was gonna say no Smash Brothers and then also the CS:GO tournament from DreamHack. Fuck you. Right? But but YouTube buying Twitch hasn't come up in over a month. Or in a month. Either in 9-11. So, who cares? <laughs> yeah, yet I hear about that every year. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. That commander uh, reason. One thing that has so. been coming up, soccer. And I wanted to take a second, because I did some reading on this, okay? I did some reading. After I told you? What's that? Like, after I told you? What, well, is, on, what is soccer? Well, now, that is what I wanted to bring up. When soccer was first invented in England, it was called soccer. It was around for about 20 years. It was the lower and middle class that started calling it football. So when people say, what is soccer? I could say it was called soccer before it was called football. True story. Look it up. Now we know. Actually, I believe it was just called kickball. Soccer. I looked it up. <laughs> I looked it up on the internet, so it's got to be true. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I looked up. Um, near as I could tell, I don't think you could ever pay me enough to be a World Cup ref. You know what I mean? Like a soccer referee? Dude, those people, don't, don't fucking refs get killed and shit. Depending on the game, they do get a lot of death threats, just like any other referee from any other sport. When it comes to a very, very like important call or situation, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, Did you mean get to tweet that. that at me? Yes, because <laughs> it's on the internet, so it's got to be true. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah. sorry, Doom tweeted. I already knew about that, though. There, there's a new Doom shirt. It's the Union Aerospace t-shirt. The UAC. I don't know what that means. Yeah, that's okay. Well, okay. In the original Doom, according to the storyline, if you like play the game and you see all the boxes, they say UAC. It's uh, The UAC is the Union Aerospace Corporation, and they did all the drilling on the moons from Mars and literally unleashed hell. Moving on. No, I don't do that. <clears throat> so here's the thing about. <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> that was stolen on Conan. If I remember yes. Correctly. Yes. The their little wiki bear guy, and they've been running a little um, reoccurring skit with him. Well, the guy who voices him started fucking up, right? And Conan was like grilling him about it. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and I just started howling. He's the the wiki bear's like moving on. <laughs> I don't I like that, that fucker owes Eddie money. <laughs> uh, I, I heard you were I think Smash was on about that. I think it might have been you. Now that it had have been him because Smash hasn't really said anything in the past two days. Yeah. And Johnny's been going on mayhem. Mayhem. Okay, so YouTube never bought. I've already seen Johnny tweet shit. Well, that's because you have him muted. Nah. Ooh, I, I, like, the only time Johnny, Johnny, the only time Johnny really tweets anything is like around maybe like around ten o'clock on our time. Yeah, no. He, no yeah. yeah, I'm I'm a late night tweeter. Yeah, and even I then he I, tweets for like three hours straight. Yeah. Yes. Is this really all sad stuff too? Like, yeah. Well, oh I, yeah. I, I'm emailing myself. What? Nobody else does that. Okay. <laughs> well, I had to check the, he, if the email podcasts. I was johnnywhitetrash.com was working. Uh, you, get, you get to make a public <laughs> announcement about that? Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> it actually refers to you. 
Yes. If you want to email us about all the podcasts in the world, podcasts at johnnywhitetrash.com. And if you want to talk to either one of these guys, I'll forward it to them. Woot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, you can make sub uh, emails for each of us. I could. I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> so because that just doesn't sound right. Big Papa at Johnny White Trash. <laughs> Dan at Johnny White Trash dot com. That doesn't sound right. Why we told you not to use that name? But it's better than Team White Trash. I'm gonna lie to you. <laughs> Team White Trash at least made sense because it sounds like a group of people. Yeah, but but I can't, you couldn't have that one back without paying like 90 bucks, and I didn't want to pay the 90 bucks to get it back. That or pissing off the agent and be like, I'll oh, just wait. Yeah, because yeah. You, you were sitting there just like, oh, and if I wait, this, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, and that's when he <laughs> reminded me. It's like, yeah, well, you know, after uh, this amount of time, we release it. I'm like, okay. Or he's like, and I'm like, so if I just wait that amount of time, I could just buy it for the normal price. I think it's because you acknowledged it. He's like, Shit. he's like, we may release it. I'm like, ah, so you may did you, not. <laughs> did you ever double check to see like, if you may did? go to hell? <laughs> um, oh yeah, shit, that should be about now. Well, no, because the plan I picked, I can only have one uh, dot com. Well, I know. I'm just saying, did you ever double check to see if it was free? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm kind of over it now, although. If I had it to do all over again and realize, because I thought I'd put a lot of stuff on the website. The only thing that's on there is podcast, basically. If I'd have known that, I would have called it podcastimperfect.com. Crickets? I thought there was an I told you so coming, because I thought somebody told me to call it that. What was that? <laughs> no, not you guys? Okay. Well, uh, is it working? Is what working? Is it? Yes, okay, I got it. Yes. Well, oh, iTunes is working. No, I didn't fix it. I, I cracked the old ones. I searched my computer for my old files because I always save them. Found it. The thing is, I, I have so many old versions of iTunes that I didn't know which one was the compatible one. Ah. Uh, huh. Huh. So, do you know what you could have done, Papa? I'm like a computer hoarder. I got to delete all these old ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been a digital hoarder before. I'm, I'm not anymore. I delete everything now. But if you wanted to find out how to deal with that problem, you probably could have took a look. It's in a book on reading Rainbow. See, that's why I don't do transitional material. It sounds forced and it sucked. But that was not transitional. <laughs> reading that was rainbow. Ah. No, his, his attempt towards transition is trying to he's trying to get used to it. Yeah, well, I mean, I normally like my brain's just like duh, 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 talking about this, talking about this, and, and how I transition from iTunes to reading rainbow is so iTunes, blah blah blah. Reading rainbow. There is no transition. Ah. But we did mention, we did mention that we were going to follow the Reading Rainbow Kickstarter. What, what did we say that a month ago? Was that, was that again? Say that one more time. Well, because we looked up, remember we brought up Reading Rainbow on the podcast. Their Kickstarter, and we were going to map their progress and bring it up every week until it was good to go, uh, right? You're talking about the, the more you know, right? Correct. Right. Right no, the no reading rainbow, rainbow. Kickstarter with oh, okay. Lavar Burton. I, yeah, I remember talking about that. Now, yeah, yeah, the whole Kickstarter about bringing it back, and someone gave like a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but you know how much said, money? Because their goal was a million dollars, right, Dan? Well, the thing was, so. we were gonna progress it and talk about it every week because it ended. It's supposed to end like this month. Well, two weeks from now. 14 more days. Yeah, now it's pretty much still almost the end of this month. But it was we were supposed to track it track it their progress every week. Thing is, that same week they hit their goal of a million in like three days. Yeah. They are currently currently with 14 days left to go at three 
million eight hundred and thirty two thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars now they can spend the one million to bring it back and the two million uh, to get Morgan Freeman. That would be true if they didn't change their goal. <laughs> well, no, okay, they changed their their goal to one to five million, but they didn't change their um. How do I put it? It's already gonna go because they reached oh, a million. They oh. didn't change it through Kickstarter. They just made a sign that said our new goal is five million. Okay, cool. Do we want cash money, yo? So you're yeah. saying with the extra two million they could buy Morgan Freeman? Yeah, wouldn't you well, want him reading know. your kids' they're, books? Th- no, okay, they're li- already having. Listen, like, listen. The whole yeah, cast yeah. Of Star Trek. Here, here's the thing. Yeah, to to say to Dan, here's the problem with that. They probably raised that money because because two of the guests that are coming up are William Shatner and Sir Patrick Stewart. So once you pay them. But little kids aren't Star Trek fans. But how many yes. people watched them when they were little and now are adults? How many adults read books? They don't. That's I'm not gonna the watch. Problem. How many adults watch My Little Pony? It's still a kids show. Those bronies are different. Okay, they're not. They don't have little fucking toys of books. I read books. Toys of books. Goosebumps don't count, Johnny. All right. No, no, no. I, I don't read Goosebumps. You I should. read Fear Street. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But even uh, then, reading Rainbow was kind of more more. The show was like um, Mr. Rogers. Well, it it was a it was a way to get kids to read books. Yeah, just like the way they try to do that with Barney and Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers. Hmm. And that's all it is. It's just a show, kind of trying to get kids to read and stories and whatnot. But Which the thing is, is important. Yeah, the, but the majority of the fans are adults now, much like if they were to do this. Well, yeah. The, they they the 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 old show. Show. <laughs> no, but they want to revamp it. Revamp I mean, somebody good, not somebody old. <laughs> dude, you take that back. LeVar Burton is amazing. Yeah. Fuck LeVar Burton. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Anyways. All right, kick from call. Come on. Kick from call. I can't. William <laughs> Shatner. Come William on. Shatner is horrible. William Shatner is amazing, and no, I. Sir Patrick awful. Stewart is amazing. Patrick Stewart, yes, he's good because he, he he's like I'm the guy from X Men. Like, oh, you know, you can say that, but he come on, William not Shatner, the guy from... like I'm the guy from those you know commercials about yeah. airlines. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Right now, everyone like I guess our age group would be like, oh my god, that's Professor X. But me knowing Star Trek and everyone else who watched Star Trek would be like, Picard uh, is going to yeah, on yeah, reading yeah. Rainbow. See, see, people my age is still... Picard. Er, at least me, because I grew up a, a Star Trek fan. Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah, he's still Jean-Luc Picard. But I could see what you mean about the... Right now the he's Professor cap. X. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As far as William Shatner, he's either... The Priceline guy. Yeah, Priceline. Yeah. That's unfortunately his claim to fame right now is the Priceline negotiator. No, he's got a show called Weird or What. (laughs) But I think a lot of people, more people now know him as the Priceline negotiator than anything else. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a look here. What at his? Oh yeah, he was he was fucking awesome in that uh, TV show Boston Legal. And, he was and, funny as fucking that. He he is also when people talk about shit my dad says, he played the dad. Oh God, look at this. Okay, known for, okay, no. mm-hmm. James T. Kirk, right? Tiberius, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T. J. Hooker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Denny Crane. Uh, that's the about... Boston legal guy. Okay. Priceline negotiator. Fuck, he is known as the. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Damn. kidding. It's much like if you think about um, what's his name, David Arquette. The only two things that come to mind, uh, well, three things. Mar- technically. Mary and Courtney Cox. Uh, yeah, but I was gonna go more or less like Scream. Uh, eight legged oh, yeah, freaks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll put ready to rumble over eight legged freaks. 
Oh, but that's because you know it. Yeah, but I yeah. feel I feel like Eight Legged Freaks is more known. It's one of those cult hits. That was a <laughs> hit. Yeah, it was. It, it was a cult classic. All right, so I've put in the chat, and for... the last thing. Yeah. I remember him as being the one eight hundred collect guy for a little bit. I would yeah, have said, I would commercials people would know shit. that though. Like I mean, I'm not saying that they wouldn't know. I'm just saying I don't think he he would be known for that. Like, oh yeah, he's that. Remember that what guy? Remember people used to do collect calls? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not watching this for two reasons. Well, no, no, no. Watch it later. I highly recommend it though because he totally rags on Star Trek fans during it. Well, so does uh, Spock with the book. I'm not Spock. Yeah, but. And I was mad about this, okay? Because I didn't find out about this till too late. But we have about two hours or an hour and a half away from my town. There is a town called Vulcan. Vulcan, Alberta. You can look it up. You don't believe me. And one of the last things Leonard Nimoy did before he retired was made an appearance. Because they have, oh, what is it? Star Trek Day or Vulcan Day or whatever. Right? Mm. he made an appearance there and I didn't go because I didn't hear about it till the day after I was pissed off much like the psycho stick show when was it much like the psycho stick show uh this was years ago that um that uh Leonard Nimoy went over there because he retired yeah, a, a while back ago. yeah it was a few years ago um well uh the one thing with Shatner though because he was at a comic con that I went to Mm -hmm. and he did a little it was free you go sit at this little area and, and listen to him talk and believe it or not it was a hockey arena <laughs> yeah, I and know. then for my third scene i read my script <laughs> we nailed well, no, it. he he did a, a little q a right mm. and oh fuck what was he about 80 then or 79 80 somewhere in there right i keep forgetting these guys are like that old yeah, yeah they're, they're fucking old, old. Yeah, well, to be rough, fair, like, like Shatner a... seems pretty spry for an 80-year-old. Yeah, so does Stan Lee. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, we went to this little Q&A that he had. I shouldn't say little because it was packed and it was free with admission. But Day three. they would ask him questions, and that's when I could tell that Shatner was an old man because you would ask they would ask him a question. Like in my day kind of stories? No, no, no. Well, and he would talk. Right for about ten minutes per question, and he never answered the question. He neither just rambled. Kevin, neither does Kevin Smith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, Kevin Smith, I, I've listened to part of that podcast I told you about, the yes. one that he recorded with Netheads. Mm -hmm. It's just I don't know. I still think that's just fucking cool. Now he recorded a podcast with some people you know. Mm, somebody he knows. Somebody Johnny knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know him well or anything, but I've I've talked to him out outside of of his podcast. You're like, I saw his hands. Yeah. Well, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> he he phoned but, it and had conversations. Yeah, and 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 there was like a Google Hangout and anyway, anyway. Um. So here's what happened. Okay, the slow and skinny of the story is. Trent, he phoned in this one podcast, right? And then became a member of that podcast. It was called Radio Askew. And then it moved over to NetHeads because the host of Radio Askew, Will Wilkins, um, he's been, you know, the, the Smodcast um, software that runs their live streaming? Will yeah. Wilkins created that. So it gets him a spot on Smodcast. Makes sense. And so Trent, um, you know, he donated to the Wayne foundation, right. And actually won uh, like a half hour Google hangout with Kevin Smith. Well, then they kind of put everything together and, and cause Trent quit his job and started a comic book store and it has a theater on it. And all of a sudden it's like, well, your one year anniversary is coming up. Why don't me and Will and Jason Muse fly down. We'll do two shows. We'll do a Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. And then Kevin Smith will be on NetHeads. And it's just it's just that cool thing of like, I don't know, man. It's, it's the things that I, I personally, I look at it and it's like, 
huh? So if you take a chance, that's what could happen. That's cool. I should take a chance. And then I go to my job. I, you know, I don't take any fucking chances. And then you speak to us, and you're like, no, <laughs> like no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't. But I don't know. I just, I just think it's cool. But I, I think it's because I've, I think it's cool because I followed the whole process. You know what I mean? You've seen it happen. I saw it happen. That's a train. I'm a train. I'm a train. I don't know why. Uh, it, it's like you're saying, like, I was there. <laughs> it's like one uh, of those historical uh, moments. Like, I was there when Rosa Parks would refuse to get up. Well, it's it was more or less boring, like, but it was entertaining. <laughs> it's more yeah, or less that's... like he could have been with them. Uh, would you say that, Johnny? Um, kind of. Maybe in a di- like not on that show, but you could have been like guests for. Well, if you stayed with them long enough, you might have been a part of it. That's what happened to a couple of like other people. They well, yeah. much well, like that's... Jason Mewes. Jason Mewes stayed with Kevin Smith long enough, and now look at where he's at. Yeah, yeah. He, he like I mean, them long enough. Well, that was here's the other thing, because yeah. Trent happened across. Um, uh podcast and perfect when it was on right uh, i'm an episode with uh me and me and the honey white trash and and then basically encouraged me to phone into his podcast to plug my podcast and shit like that and so had i properly because i i've been podcasting for damn near three years was my first one we figured out right mm-hmm. if i would have podcasted the whole way through who knows what could have happened you know what I mean? But I didn't. But this time I will. I'm fucking. Well, I mean, I, I don't even make YouTube videos anymore. Cause oh, I, I said, like, well, if you want to continue doing something, <laughs> at least post up hmm. blogs or something on your own channel. Yeah. I got to <clears throat> And I don't know. You guys, I, I think you might be the same way. I, I do YouTube because it's fun. And for a while there, it wasn't fun. So I stopped doing it. Everyone does that, yeah. You know what I mean? What I don't like is people who have those pity parties. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there and and make a video saying YouTube's not fun. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, geez, you know, it's hard to get these gameplays. And, like, I don't want to follow shit like that, so I don't want to be that. I want to make the type of videos or content in general that I would want to see, hear, or read. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's the thing. I've had many friends just like you who say that, and they'll make a video saying I'm coming back, but this time's gonna be a little bit different. And then, like eight months later, sorry again for not coming back. <laughs> well, and and that's what I don't want to do. I don't like. I w- I would do an announcement video about say the uh, brutal doom black metal playthrough I want to do, if I had enough episodes in the can or enough plays gameplays in the can that i knew it was going to happen i don't want to do i hate announcement videos i hate update videos i hate them more when i do them especially when like i upload it and i'm like oh fuck it was an announcement video or fuck it was an update video because i think i think it's a waste of time i think if you want to do something just do it um uh, even um like uh fucking uh new year's goals new year's resolutions right they say that people who don't tell anybody what their new year's resolutions are have a better success rate than people who announce it everywhere that's because then when they announce it they feel like they have an obligation Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that scares them even more and then people like if i said to you right now i started writing a book i know i've talked about i want to but I've said, if I said the words, I've started writing a book, how often would you just YouTube say, so how's the book coming? And yeah, how, how many pages have you written? Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And if I hadn't written any pages, I would instantly feel defeated. It reminds me of that movie Limitless. As boring as it was. I haven't watched it yet. It was, what it was is it was him trying to write a book. And he was struggling, and, you know, barely paying rent or whatever. 
and pe- the, the the company who's writing the book for kept asking him, so when's the next pages? When are the next pages? When are the next pages? And he's like, it's taking time. Yeah, and, cause, it, cause like, like a video game, they give you a certain amount of money for that story. Like, what, what you do is you basically just think of an idea, you pitch it to them, they're like, all right, you know, uh, how, how long is it going to be or whatever? And they're like, all right, you know, well, every week we want like, some kind of draft to yeah, read yeah, it. And yeah. if we don't like it, then we'll fucking scrap it. The same way with movies. Yeah. Though it, they're, they're a publisher. They like, give you I would, money. I would a- hate to sell an idea to somebody. Like, I would rather write the book and then shop it around than to... Because a, a lot of places, what they want for you to... Um, for like, if you go through an agent to sell your book to a publishing company, they want the first ten thousand words, right? So what some authors will do, um, not all, obviously. I mean, I'm not saying I'm an author, so I got all the ins. But what I what I've read that some authors will do is they'll sell the first ten thousand words. Now they're on the hook to write seventy thousand more words. I would rather write the eighty thousand word book or fifty thousand or whatever. And then try and shop it around as a completed product because um, the thing with deadlines is, um, and what I hate about them, is when you have a deadline, sometimes you're just, you know, and I've said it on this podcast everywhere, you know, do you want it done right or do you want it done by Tuesday? When you have the deadlines, they want it done by Tuesday, right? Whereas I, I would rather write the best book I can, and then put it out there. But I'm not writing a book, so don't ask me how fucking far I am. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who took, like, many, many years to write, like, a sequel. Because who was it? Like, I mean, I got, I'm pretty sure you've seen, like, the Harry Potter movies, right, Johnny? Uh, some of them, yeah. Them. Yeah. Like, uh, do you know when those books started to be written? Um... Uh, I believe they were still being written during the movies. Oh yeah, no, they're yeah, they're well, continuing on. Yeah, they were doing before the movies. I'm saying like I think it's like mid nineties. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. The first. Ninety seven was the first one. I think that's when yeah. I read it. But I remember when the fourth movie came out. The sixth book may have just come out. Well, the the last book, uh, or sorry, is and Deathly Hollows the last book? It looks yes. Like it. Yes. It came out in 2007. When did the movie series start? Well, 2000. 2000. 2000. And then it, it was like it, every it year. At the same time, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it started in 2000. And the last movie didn't come out till two years ago. Harry yeah. Potter came out in 95. I was going to say it was way too, way too early, 97. I think it might have been published in 97. Uh, oh, yeah, 97. Pu- published in 97. Because, I mean, yeah. like, these things take, uh, depending on how big they are, blah, 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 blah. They take however yeah. long to write. But, yeah, okay, 2001 was the, uh, yeah, the first like she the, had the She had the first four books written be, between 95 and 97. Books. Well, the, the first three. Book. She had the first three books. That's right. I don't think so either. No, the, the, the third one wasn't published until later on, but she had the first three written down. The first one was getting released, and it got a lot of, like, uh, support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they released the first and the second, and then the third one. They 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 wanted time in between them as most. They're not going to release all three out. Right, right. Um. Here's a here's the, another example. After right? the first after the first movie, I know that. What happened? I know the fourth book came out to the, after the first movie, and Harry Potter came like what 2011. <sighs> The last, the last movie. The last movie came out 2011, the first part, and then 12, the second part. And 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 the last book came out around seven, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when the fifth movie came out. Yeah, that's when the fifth movie came out. So like, can you imagine her, um, like her quota, basically? Like, hey, you gotta you gotta write this book before we even get to like movie six. Okay, <laughs> well. Know? Here's the here's here's another good comparison, Game of Thrones. Okay? Those books have been written for God knows how long. They have, but here's the problem. It, He's still it's, writing. It's but... supposed to be, I think, seven books. Or is it six? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Mm. When they started making the 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 T V show, right? Uh the first four books were out. And he was working on the fifth, if I remember right. But the thing with his books is his books are three hundred thousand words books 
okay? Like, they're, they're big fucking books, and he's not done writing them yet, and now the, the deadlines are, are catching up, and I, I remember seeing an interview with him on Conan O'Brien, and Conan's like, so have you told anybody how these books are supposed to end, you know, just in case you don't finish them in time, and the TV show's going, well, now what do we do? Sorry, every time I hear and you George say George R.R. Martin says, nah. <laughs> every time I hear you say it, I just remember the South Park movie. I'm listening. South Park movie? We wa- you watched the movie with us, Conan. You liked it, Conan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just stereotyping Canadians even more. Oh, well, fuck it. I'm a Canadian. I'm a, what does young Jay call me? A stereotypical Canadian son of a bitch. You forgot uh, the word. I don't think it sounds anything like that. You forgot the word fuck in there somewhere. <laughs> Stereotypical Canadian son of a bitch. Fuck. I think <laughs> you don't have Tourette's. <laughs> no. like, it's almost like he does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know this to be true. <laughs> Love you, every young Jay. T- every tweet at least starts with the word fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. So, the only other really note I made that I don't really have much to say is uh, Capcom's for sale, or might be, or some shit. Capcom's it's in trouble. It's not for sale, it's just cheap enough to be bought. Yeah, yeah, it's running into trouble. Well, all not they enough do Devil May Cry games. All they do is pretty much re-release Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not that. It's uh, Resident Evil. They put too much money into it. Yeah, uh, speaking of, since you're in Resident Evil, I was informed that they're finally done making the movies and they're not going to make the next movie. Good. Yeah, I, he- I heard about that also. Because the movies like, I'll, fucking I'll suck. They're entertaining enough to watch, but... See, it's just... The thing with Capcom is there's there are the games like Street Fighter or Resident Evil that, that still make money. There are other games that don't really seem to make as much money, and they keep putting them out anyway. What else does Capcom have? I know they have Dead Rising, Ace Attorney, Bionic Commando, Breath of Fire, Commando, Cyberbots, Dark Stalkers, Dead Rising, Deep Down, Devil May Cry, Dino Crisis, Dragon's Dogma, Final Fight, Ghosts and Goblins, Lost Planet, Mega Man, Monster Hunter, um, uh, Okami? Animusha? Power Stone, Remember Me, <laughs> Remember Me, Resident Evil, Rival Schools, Sengoka Basara, Star Gladiator, Street Fighter, Strider versus Beautiful Joe. You know, I don't know if this happens to you guys. It must be the Canadian in me. But, like, whenever you go, um, like, you log into something and it has the little part where you can check off Remember Me. Instantly, my first thought is, is, as I click it, it's like, I will remember you. Will you remember me? Just me? You didn't have to go that far into it. Okay, just Don't let us pass you by. We're not for the memories. No? There's so much gruff there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's not the good kind. But what I'm going to say, they said that they're still writing the last movie because that's going to be the last one. That's what they're saying. Yeah, so but right, there will be confused. at least one We're more. on the Resident Evil movie still? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, I'm trying to forget what the hell you just did. Well, yeah. You'll never be able to forget, because you'll always remember him. Nah, it's pretty easy to forget but him. Dan, Dan. Hmm. I will remember you. Will you remember? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, thank I think you. I think we're going to have a, a new segment in the show. It's called... <clears throat> An announcement? No, no, no. Right now? It no, is no, called... You, you just did it. Well, no, no, because no. we're going to do it right now. It is called the Johnny Shuts Up for Five Minutes. 
because Johnny talks over the show too much. So Johnny's going to shut up for five minutes starting in three, two, go. There's something that I kind of want to ask you. <laughs> Save it for after the five minutes. He's actually muted. Yeah, it's at, what, 44 minutes, I guess, we're into this thing? Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, no, supposedly... The, they said they even started writing on the the last movie where they have. They just barely started writing uh, writing it. But they're like, oh, it may be the last. I think it will be because, what's it yep. called? Before before Paul Walker died, um, they had planned to make three more Fast and the Furious movies. They're and supposed I, to break up this one to two. That's what that's what I remember. Is they're supposed to be seven and eight. Well, it makes sense if it's seven and if it's done at the same you know, like back to back or what do I want to say, or if it's done with the same people, the like same story. It was it was supposed to be back to back, just like uh, um, any other trilogy lately. <laughs> but it was supposed to go be it was supposed to be filmed back to back. But since he passed, they scratched it and they rewrote it a little bit, and they made it to one feature. But for all we know, they could still split it to two. It depends on just how much stuff they have written or how much uh, stuff they have filmed. Like a lot of people, uh, most of the time, what they do is they have they have too much film like saved up. Then they'll split it. Or they're like, okay, well, how about we just you know make it longer and run all that kind of crap. But uh, I forgot what movies did that. And then some movies, well, Lord of the Rings, obviously, <laughs> that was supposed to be just two movies. And then they uh, broke He's it down. The Hobbit. Three. the Hobbit, yes. You can't say Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, nah. Those, and I feel like those movies, even though that the four are long director's cut, I still feel like, eh, they could have done a bit, a little bit more. Yeah, I do like the four are long movies. Twilight was rewritten, of course. Johnny may be shut up, but he won't shut up in the chat. Twilight is it's kind of like the the, the, the last, last movie. Book. The last movie was the book, but the thing is, they rewrote the ending. I know because so many little girls were like, they changed it. Harry Potter was two parts. But yeah, book, but that was that was more of a freaking the thing, the thing the about, writer's thing. Uh, the thing about Harry Potter being two parts, all right, Johnny was saying Harry Potter was two parts as well. That book was long. <laughs> it was long, but also had, had, it, it had, had the uh, writer's union. Harry Potter? No. That was, that was during the strike. No, not that movie, no. The strike happened yes, in 2008. It was, it was dude. The uh, strike know. happened in 2008. <sighs> Do you know the filming is a lot different from me writing the script? What? The book came out in 2007. Immediately, they had to start writing a script. They had to. They're not going to wait until they finish the last movie to start writing the next script. They had to adapt it. Immediately. Okay, I continue. I'm, I'm so... I mean, fucking Johnny's last... Week. Johnny, stop your stupid five minutes of uh, silence or whatever. Because I don't know how I want it good... Clean, I, I fucking start talking again. Because... It's annoying that you're that you're trying to sound. I'm trying to read your crap, and I'm trying to explain to him that because of the writers, uh, it's called strike. All writers, if they continue writing for anything, they were considered like uh, against the whole writers' union stuff. Yeah, what Although what they what they were was if you're part of the writers' guild, the writers' union, like you're, um, it's a certain organized. I know I came back in early because I couldn't stop typing in the chat. Um, <clears throat> No, they. Uh, I know. I know what you're saying because they're part of the writers' union, and when the writers' union goes on strike, you cannot have a paying job that is writing, because you would be crossing the picket line. You'd be a scab, they call it. Yeah, and I forgot who it was who continued doing their show even without the writers. I don't know if it was Stephen Colbert or if it was Conan O'Brien. I, I think it was Conan O'Brien. I think Conan O'Brien, uh, like the the Daily Show, Conan O'Brien and. And uh, Stephen Colbert had some kind of three-way uh, segment 
during the writer's strike because they they kept going right like i mean uh, uh yeah they were dead it was their seat and, and so did point. like leno and like all those late night shows and talk shows they kept going they just didn't have writers they had to write yeah. their own fucking show and it, it led to a lot of shortened seasons as well um a lot of um pauses yeah like uh like 22 episode seasons were becoming 16 or 15 or something like that right yeah, it, it all depends now on the, on what to call the scheduling for like the the seasons and all that stuff now. Because like, what is it called? Like, the Game of Thrones. Like, it just recently finished this past weekend. That thing was oh, only out for like about what, like three months. That was an amazing episode. I would not. I didn't see it, but I asked my. I was like, oh yes, finally. I was like, that's why I hate. A lot of people say they hate going to Twitter for like you know these things. I hate going to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, there I, I am just I, talking, just just seeing what friends are doing, and then at least three or four good assholes. I'm like, oh, like I know it's funny for people, but then they show like a screenshot of what the hell they're watching, and then do like a whole little caption what the fuck just happened. I'm like, you know, a lot of my you know a lot of friends, you know, usually wait till the very end of the season to do the whole marathon. You know, they, they do it kind of maybe the day after or the week after. Yeah. Well, it, and this, it, fuck, this fucker has done that since, like, episode one of this season. He's been trying to spoil it for almost everybody, like, three hours after. Did I tell you about that German school teacher? Sounds weird. Go on. Well, his class would not behave, right? And he's sitting there going, you guys all watch Game of Thrones, right? And they're all like, yeah. He's like, I've read all those books, and if you don't behave <laughs> in my class, I will tell you what happens. I will spoil the living shiza out of that for you. Well, I'm going to say, although that's pretty fucking cool, um, I read an article of some of the stupidest shit in the world. Someone wrote an article saying that nine people died or whatever this past season. Or no, no, like some people died this past season, but like we're here to tell you that nine people should have died. And well, it was just six. It was just nine random people that they didn't like, or they felt sorry for that they wanted them to kill them off. And almost everyone in the comments section like, "This is the stupidest fucking article I've ever read that I've ever seen be written the, or that's ever been published." The the stupidest article I read, and it can't be. It can't be true. It's one of those. It just cannot be real. And what it was was it was like this internet troll wrote down all the spoilers from Game of Thrones. He's, he's filled uh, uh, six novels so far of, of trolls of spoilers for Game of Thrones. You know, some author named George R.R. R. Martin, and so they were... I don't know if... I'm assuming it must have been a joke, right? Yeah. But it was if it was a joke, it wasn't funny. Another picture I, I saw I'm, of the Game of Thrones books, it was all the books, and it had sticky notes for bookmarks, and every bookmark was when somebody died. Nice. The thing I like about that show is they will kill everybody. Like, when your show, book, whatever the story is, when you're watching it, and it's like, oh shit, this guy might die, he's probably gonna die. Like, somebody living is more, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a shock than somebody dying now. I can't remember if it was the Harry Potter movies or if it was the Game of Thrones. I remember people were putting up pictures of like, I got the whole like uh, Game of Thrones or Harry Potter series on VHS, and there were the books. <laughs> they're like, I, like, the guy didn't know that. Like, how, how could they have finished the movies if they're still like on part five or whatever? I remember seeing that a, a while back, and I was like, this is so stupid. I I gotta interject here, Papa. Did you steal my my staying quiet for five minutes, uh, uh, shtick? No, I'm trying to find something else. Uh, like, I'm trying to find news outside of soccer. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what are you looking for? Egg. I don't know, something outside of soccer. The only thing I find is this stupid Spurs thing, I have no idea. Spurs? Or what? The, the NBA th Finals. Yeah. Yes, Dan! You're from Texas. Yeah. And the Texas people won the NBA this year. Yeah, well, we had three chances. How do, how do you feel about the San Antonio Spurs taking the NBA championship, or does it matter not? Uh, no, it, it matters to a lot of Texans, only for the fact that um, for the past, like, 
15 years, they've started like really winning with Tim Duncan, like one of the better players on the team. And since it was against the Miami Heat again, because they played them last year and lost, they then they're doing like a whole like, grudge match this year, and they're 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 winning like their games by like 20 points or more, which is like three three to one goals for you hockey people. <laughs> so they're, they're like really winning like every single game. Well, I've I've watched a bit of basketball and and during the. Uh... Like, I understand the basic principle, obviously, but during the uh, hockey strike, I just about converted, right? Um, the one thing that I can't grasp yet is, like, how far down does a team have to be before they're out? Like, I saw a team down by 10 points, and I'm like, in the third quarter. So I'm like, oh, okay, so it looks like this team's going to win. <laughs> no. And I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> they need to be down like a good 30 to 40 points. Yeah? Yeah. They like, could come like, back at a 20-point 20 20 thing just by six, three, uh, seven, seven three-pointers. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. possible. Well, like, when it's like the fourth quarter and there's like five minutes left and there's 20-point difference, that's when you're like, okay. That's, that's if, the other if, thing if, that confused them. If it's going to come back, it has to be now. That's the other thing that confused them. There's another quarter? <laughs> Well, quarter Lock means you. four. <laughs> Canadian, you. Canadians can period? only count to three. Yes, we have three, period. three periods, yeah. you dick. <laughs> yeah. like, wait, what do you mean there's a fourth period? period? <laughs> fourth? No, this is overtime. Yeah, overtime. Well, that's not... <laughs> They're fun. like, what? This isn't Canadian football. Well, yeah. and the other thing is, if I remember basketball correctly, overtime uh, was literally in a whole other period, and they played... On to the end of the period, right? Quarter. Overtime in basketball is shortened version. They only play about five but, minutes. Yeah, but well, they yeah, still play. Yeah, because you can't the, have a fifth play. quarter, because like no. Dan just said, quarter is four. But How they do you still have play. a fifth quarter? But they still play the whole, the whole period. Yeah. Yeah, they, they play a certain it's, amount of time. The most points. Yeah, no. the rest of the points wins. Yeah, they, they just keep scoring. Could you imagine it, basketball if it was sudden death overtime? It would, last, it would last like 10, 15 seconds. I know, it'd be the shortest overtime ever. If anything, it would have to set up <laughs> like, like, uh, like a shot. It would have to be set up like the end of the Mighty Ducks. Now, what about um, regular season uh, overtime? I would want like half-court shots, like shootouts. Uh, That's what I, would <laughs> I, I, I would want like an all-star type thing. Like, hey, we need to play all around the world. And <laughs> this, know? And this a is game of horse is. for overtime. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> around the world. Oh, do you yeah. remember those old Michael Jordan commercials for McDonald's where they were doing those trick shots and it would end up, it's like, okay, off the freeway, through the window, nothing but net. <laughs> those do ring a bell. <laughs> Could My you own. imagine if the NBA was really like, okay. <laughs> oh, but half, half court shots, this is where they decide to... Uh... Oh, uh, God damn it! This is where they decide to hire the dudes from like Dude Perfect and uh, the and, Harlem uh, Globetrotters. And add some Harlem Globetrotters to each. Yeah, team. there's one Harlem Globetrotter per team, and his whole purpose is for horse overtime. But no, okay. Uh, serious question though, because I don't know this. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big basketball guy, but I I could handle watching it. But um. Like, regular season for hockey, overtime is five minutes, and then there's a shootout. What is overtime in the regular season, or is there overtime? Do you tie in basketball? No, you do not tie. What, what is it? Do you do overtime until somebody wins? Yeah. There, there has been, like, six overtimes. Again, like, overtimes are only about four minutes or, or five minutes. I can't remember. remember. Okay. While regular pairs are like twelve minutes, so it's like one third or one fourth of the regular time. So, that, so, so being like, uh, like say like a, th a third overtime is like basically saying okay, it was a whole other quarter added into it. Okay, yeah, so the it's overtimes are really short. Shortened. And are the playoff overtimes the same length? They're the same, man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's no, there will never be a tie in basketball unless they literally say. We are too tired. We don't want to play anymore. Like, what was that one? I think I, I linked to it like many, many months ago when that high school team won their Oh, state. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The high school team. team. Yeah. That, that's uh, different, though. Like that's high quarters. school, right? 
it was, oh, it was, no, high, it was a high, high school, school hockey team. That's right. It was high school hockey. Yeah, they played like six periods, and they're like, <laughs> "We're tired. We're gonna share it." I'm like, yes. Yeah. Because we were just that damn good. To, well, like, because not be both champions. Yeah, I mean, like in the NHL, obviously that'll never happen, right? I, I remember watching the. It's the third longest game in history, and it was Philly Pittsburgh. I, I think I brought it up with you guys before. Oh, what fought? In, uh, what was it? Six overtimes? Hold on, hold on. While you were looking that up, I don't know if you remember what was that one game of tennis about a year ago when those guys like uh, battled it up for like ten hours. Oh really? They yeah, they played a whole tennis match for like eight hours or ten hours, and they had to continue it the next day because they already had gone so late and they already had, they had gone so tired that they're people were in fear that they're gonna just pass out. That's why a lot of people will kind of just like end the games for even hockey and football. Sometimes they go on yeah. too long because they're worried that the I mean, these are just kids. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly, guys, like, right? Back and forth. Like I mean, like there, there's got to be the uh, there's got to be that limit for young people, right? Yeah. Uh, because you 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 don't want to. It's like having a horse, right? You can only run a horse for so long, and the horse, if you keep kicking it. Like, or whipping it. I don't know how you guys ride horses down there. But, you know, if you keep giving her that kick to, to run, she will run till she fucking dies. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll, so our young say... people are like horses. Don't kick them to death. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, okay, so that Philly-Pittsburgh game went to the fifth overtime. I was going to say this tennis match in the past... Four years. I actually thought it was a lot sooner. But one one match was seven hours and two minutes long, right? That was like in 2013. But the longest ever match uh, was three days. And it was 11 hours and five minutes back in 2010. Between an American and a French. Okay. Like, I'm surprised... They even let them play that long. They're like, you know what? You're both champions. Screw the other whole tournament. Because well, that's it, another... Well, it's if different when it's professional long, sport, though. No, what I mean is, like, if it's taking way too long, you're fucking up the scheduling. Of the yes, tournament. yes. And that, well, what hockey used to be before um, the one lockout uh, was there was one overtime period in the regular season, full 20-minute and if you made it to the end of that, it was a tie game, right? And then in overtime, it would keep going, or sorry, in the playoffs, it would keep going till forever, right? Till somebody won. But they changed that due to TV scheduling, and that's when the shootout was invented. And I would rather have, I don't, I don't fucking, shootouts are kind of like... fun to watch, but I liked the old system better. They changed shit. Get off my grass. I was going to say uh, what they should change it to, like, fuck TV, we're going to stream it. <laughs> so that we can always play for however long we want to. Well, and there are streaming options for most professional sport now. Yeah. I know baseball and hockey both have their um I thought you were going to say eSports. <laughs> e yeah, you know eSports. <laughs> Actually, I did catch some of the X Games on uh, on TV here. Not not the not the video games, but like the skateboarding and dirt biking was what I watched. Mm -hmm. Man, I love watching that shit. That's because the video game section was streamed. Yeah. No, and I... I ever since that deal, I've been wondering if the professional video game players will ever make TV. I mean, if poker players can, surely the fuck Call of Duty players can, right? It, it, well, are you talking about specifically Call of Duty or any like, but, game? But well, Call of Duty, I say Call of Duty simply because that's the one I'm the most familiar with. Like, I know League of Legends is huge, and uh, what's another one? StarCraft is huge? StarCraft is huge, yeah. Um, what else... Garners the esports yeah, because because different countries have their different like favorites as far as like right. what's the top competitive internet game and all that stuff. But yeah, CS:GO, Quake used to be a huge thing. Yeah, the Quake Especially Live back when Fatality was um, the the kind of the fucking number one everything. He was the I think I think he was the first celebrity competitive gamer. I don't know if you know who that is, Johnny. Which guy? Sorry. 
uh, fatality. Not ringing a bell. I'm glad they made ring a bell. Like um, he was he was goddamn it. Like this guy was making he wasn't making that, that much money. He was winning a lot of tournaments though, but uh, he was like famous like worldwide just because like he was like number one in Quake. And uh, for a good couple of years, and I think I told Papa Team too that he would go to malls sometimes and challenge people on Quake, and he would have the nope. Was it the one inch screen never, challenge? Nope. Never told me. And he also had um, the keyboard challenge where he would play do he would play a uh, Quake as if he was playing it with a guitar, but the the the, the keyboard basically on his chest, like like this up. Like like up. a piano keyboard. Yes. No, like a keyboard, oh, yeah. a computer keyboard. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. What he means is holding it like a piano keyboard. Not not your lap, but like basically like on your chest. Oh, like okay, chest I see plate. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm, and, yeah. I'm on MLG.com, and I'm trying to find a list of games, and all I see is, is Call of Duty, League of Legends, and StarCraft. Yeah, on their website, they only have that. I think the new the new uh, Anaheim, which is going to be actually this weekend, they're going to have Killer Instinct. They're going to have... Um, I'm, they're having Injustice. I don't think have Street Fighter. I could, I could probably Bros. watch a good fighting game tournament, too, though, eh? The Smash Bros. ones at E3 was fucking amazing. Yeah, the like, I, I could so into it. I could watch that. Yeah, the, um, the whole tournament, really, I couldn't because they're like, okay, who's your favorite? Who do you want to continue on? I'm like, oh. are you fucking kidding me? You just lost twice. Now he's in there for the third time just because people liked his character. <laughs> Not his actual, you know, fighting style. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, Man, I, I, do I couldn't do a tournament like that because I, I can't wrap my head around... Uh, the uh, uh, fucking what's the game called again? Killer Instinct controls. It just doesn't. It doesn't do it for me. It, it, uh, like I, I prefer Mortal Kombat, which I don't care what nobody says. I am very excited about the new Mortal Kombat, even though it's not coming out till two fifteen or twenty fifteen. That's right. I think we even said it was going to come out January two fifteen. It's probably going to come out March, like the other one. Let's see if there's any... Uh... It'll come up first quarter. They're, oh, they're saying first quarter? Yeah, that, that's that's their goal is sometime first quarter. So it could be February or March. I doubt right. it'll be January. Because they usually try to get... Uh, games like that, they want to get like near the end quarter. So beginning of the of the second quarter, they can still get sales for it. Yeah. Oh, I I just remember seeing it as soon as January. I was like, no, look, that won't be that early. Uh, I'm trying to look it up here. Yeah, it still only says 2015. Maybe if you try to look up a, a date, it's going to tell you December 31st, 2015. Yeah, yeah. That's because they don't have a date installed yet. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. I, I'm excited. I want to play it. But you don't even know which characters are in it. doesn't matter. It's Mortal Kombat. Pretty much. No, you definitely want to know who the characters you, are in. Ninety percent of the time, people only cared about Scorpion and Sub Zero. Pretty much. I mean, I find it funny that Scorpion and Sub Zero are the main two characters. When it should be like Luke. <laughs> well, no, because sucks. they were. Um, for how many games they were literally just a reskinned character, right? And then you had Smoke and Reptile and. Um, it was just is the same character with a different color. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reskinned, right? Yeah. But and in different move sets. But I don't know. I was a big fan of uh, Mortal Kombat Nine. I guess you could call it. It, it was a lot of fun to play. Um, you can't you can't call it MK because Mario Kart has stolen that. <clears throat> Although the one thing I did find interesting, and it, it is how uh, a testament of how. Video games have changed. Um, the original Mortal Kombat was made by four people in a basement. The Mortal Kombat 9 was made by 400 people in a fucking office building. That hovered a basement. Yeah, that well, hovered Minecraft, a basement. <laughs> Minecraft was still made by like four people in a basement. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the other thing too. I mean, like, Flappy Bird was made by one dude. On a laptop, I think. You mean he, it was ripped off from one dude? 
<laughs> well, um, he did get in trouble for the graphics, but... Oh, that was more like Rick, yo. What do we call it? Oh, no. Yeah, people were playing lawsuits. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it was just like, it's a bird flying through Mario Kart pipes. I know Mario, Mario Kart. Mario, Mario, goddamn Mario Kart. Yeah. The grass now, was very would, similar to Super Mario. Here's the other question. Would it have been as successful if it didn't have that instant nostalgia built in? Um, no, because you look at all the copycats. Uh, like, uh, well, yeah, it was an easy game to make, so as soon as people are like, oh, this game's catching on, we're going to make one. And there was several clones, right? Yeah, even YouTubers have so many clones of that. And the same thing, they just either speed it up or they change the levels or whatever. Yeah, uh, those have never caught on. Just yeah. change the skin, made it nighttime. So yeah. some of them made it nighttime, some of them made it city, and some they usually change. Space. Sometimes they just cha they they change the bird to their face, like just a square picture of their face. Like that that one that one boogie one. It wasn't boogie. It was just a fan of boogie. Oh, the, had, fat, the the fat one. Yeah, the fatty bird or uh, yeah, flabby bird, flabby fat. bird, flabby. I think that's what it was called. And it was like Bo Boogie's face, and he had like little wings. Wait, Bo Boogie's the guy who, um... <laughs> Francis. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know what you're I, talking I about now, because he fucking... I do apologize, but is there a way we can take a, a little commercial? We're going to take a commercial, commercial break? break? Can we, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got to take a shit. Yeah, I got to go get something real quick. Okay, so... Fuck, how did we go to commercial? And we're back. We were just having a little uh, uh, off-air discussion that I think we need to bring White on Trey. air Red about Shirt the Radio Batman movies. Soon. To sum up real quick, I have said before, and I am not alone, that the movies are better watched in this order. Batman Begins, Dark Knight Rises, and then Dark Knight. Actually, to be fair, usually when I say it, usually when I say it, I say would be better if they were made in in this order, like that order I just stated. I think they'd be better made in that order, but Heath Ledger would have died, so you wouldn't have been able to make that. Or, depending on who you talk to out there, Heath Ledger would have lived until he did Dark Knight, because Dark Knight killed him. What? No, okay. <clears throat> so, uh -huh. Dan. Your reasoning for not watching them in the traditional, or not watching them in the untraditional order. Let's get the full story here. Go. Well, Two Face for for one. That was the whole reason why. That was the whole reason why Part Three was the way it was. It was free of any kind of, you know, criminal activities because he had died. They had used them as like a martyr for everything on that stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Them, you know, a little peace time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. being gone for so long, that would never happen. And yeah, there's little things here and there that he could have easily just changed or, like, you know, edited it out however, to make it look like it worked. However, yeah. I give you one thing that would make more sense in the, uh, in the different order. I'm a train. <laughs> um... <clears throat> He's searching for Bane in Gotham. If only he had a contraption that turned all cell phones in Gotham into a sonar. Ah. But anyway. Because that would have been really useful in the third movie, but he destroyed it in the second movie. But, no, I mean, obviously if you've not watched any of those movies before, watch them in the right order. Right? If you've never seen them before. After you've watched them, I mean, other than the fact that there would be some continuity issues, I wish that they were made, I, I, because I, I think, I think the third one lines more up with the first one, and other than the Harvey Dent thing, which I guess is what the third one is based on, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. What do you think, Papa? Yeah, I was like, you, you just be quiet. <laughs> but go on. I see why you wanted one, three, two, only because the third one wasn't as 
the whole movie itself wasn't as great as the second one. So the, the first one being first, you want it there. The third one, you want it second because it's a little better than the first one. Yes. And you want to end it top notch. That's why you want one. That's why you want well, one three two. Actually, it's more to do with the actual like one and three being connected. I think that's what people are trying to like, mostly, you know, put together. Like, oh, yeah, one I, and I, three I could go agree together. with that. Uh, three, three, and three and one do go together, and and Dark Knight is more. But then again, the first one ends with a reference about the Joker. Mind you, I, I've heard people watching the uh, Star Wars movies in the in the wrong order too. But I watch it. I watch. Well, I watch it one, three, two. The well, uh, technically, technically four, six, five. Yeah, I was about to say you have to clarify one, three, two. But I watch it one, three, two because where I love what about Empire the, uh, prequels. And the, I don't watch. <laughs> But I have seen them, and I do. I still watch those one, two, three because it's a straightforward story. Even though two yeah. and three are more connected than the first one, because no. it's 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 like the story. It's literally like the story of Jesus. Almost twenty years pass. Yeah. Between the first and the second. Well, I saw a couple of memes that I I found hilarious. I tweeted one out today, and it has the Hound from Game of Thrones. And you guys probably won't know about this, but he has a burn mark on the side of his face, like he got burnt on his face, right? I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I don't know what it is, but I saw the tweet, and I laughed. Yeah, because he's like, oh, I got burned once. And then it has Darth Vader. That's cute. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> That's cute. No, I can't, do a, I can't do a Darth Vader voice. But. But? I, as the Dark Knight, I still feel like if they ended it where they ended it with, Jokey, with the Joker hanging. Yes. That would have been perfect. Adding that extra little half hour stupidity of the two face ordeal, which was pointless, meaningless. Like Yeah, if, if well, they would have ended it with the It Joker, was meaningless. They tried to acknowledge it uh with the Dark Knight Rises, but it was kind of a pointless thing. Um Well they, I, they I had to it, ask this. And because people were gonna say, Okay, Batman took the fall for Harvey Dance actions. How is Gotham now that people hate Batman or or after Batman or chasing after Batman rather than like oh you know he's a vigilante who is a symbol and the the cops don't like that so they had to tie that in together then also again it was a long period of peace why was Batman gone for so long was no 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 I said they peace. they used they used the uh, the Harvey Dent ending storyline for the Dark Knight Rises to piece it but. If they never introduced, if they had him burnt, but they never introduced him as Two Face and made the third one not Bane, but Two Face, I think I probably would have liked it. Well, and it made a fourth one of Bane, if that. What about what about what you're saying? Is what if, right? They took the last half hour, right? The the Harvey Dent piece, the Two Face piece. I made it like a little mini episode or something. Or what if that's how the third one started with that? And then, like, say say the movie ends, uh, Dark Knight ended, right, where you said with uh, Joker hanging and they take him into custody and then they have a little wrap-up scene, right? And then... <coughs> <coughs> or hell, what if they ended it right there with a to-be-continued a la Matrix style and then the next movie started with that half hour... Uh, yeah, the Harvey Dent that's... scene, you know, it started with that and then had a seven years later and then told the story of the next movie. Would that have made more sense to you? That's what I'm <laughs> thinking he's trying to say. No, I'm just saying that whole that, that, that whole Two-Face thing was not necessary. Then if you, if you didn't they would acknowledge... Be after Batman, though. Huh? Then they, would, then they would never be after Batman. They would never start chasing his ass. No, they couldn't. No, they could have made a completely separate movie of Two Face and maybe another villain. Wasn't that great of a villain? No, that's why. And maybe another villain. But I wonder. I wonder. Would Would Dark Knight Rises have been an even better film if they hired a real sound editor? Oh! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if they fixed the audio formats for Bane. You know how we and, were listening to it and Justice for All remastered with the baseline put back in? Yes. 
I feel like why have Somebody I not should... seen a remix of, of the Dark Bane's Rises. audio? Because pro- if you listen, I listened closely the last time I watched it. The like it's got airplane noise at the beginning, right? Because yeah. they're in an airplane. Okay, that airplane noise cuts out completely when Bane's when voice starts. Yeah, when no. they're inside, they're talking. What, well, no, not when they're talking. Just when Bane talks. Just when Bane's talking. Kind of like you know how when Johnny talks, you listen to your your audio. When Johnny starts talking and you start fading out, and you don't hear anything else but Johnny for a moment, that's what that's what the the whole movie is. Whenever Bane talks, it, it's called it's called uh, side chain gating in the uh, professional audio world. <laughs> I, you know, that's the biggest frustration for me is I look at, I am a very unskilled audio editor. I know this. I know I have a lot to learn. You can listen to that in any fucking music I've produced, but I could have mixed that audio better. I could do a better job than that. Anybody with any fucking DAW, uh, DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, could have mixed that better. How can that have fucking got the green light from Hollywood, and nobody who saw the movie said, Bane's voice is too loud. Everyone who saw the movie. No, no, I mean, I'm I'm talking about the professionals, right? Before it hit theater, between filming, post-editing, and release, nobody said, holy fuck, that's too loud. Like, these are professionals. Yeah, that that completely like you know just throws me off. It it's kind of a testament that that movie was kind of whipped together. I think. I think. I I I, I think they did not do as good of job as they could have. And the story was a pretty cliche esque story. Well, you're you're dealing with comic book movies. I can handle cliche stories. You know what I mean? I I can handle... Because, I mean... The Bane... You know what? I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to have to get the... um, The Nightfall trade paperbacks. The whole... uh, Like, the story that that movie was kind of based on. I say kind of, because... Comic book movies have that leeway to go far enough away from... The comic book story. Because, I mean, you're dealing with, like, with Batman, you're dealing with, what, 70 fucking years of storyline? 25. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I digress. I it, I think this, that one was more, that one followed more of a comic book storyline than the other two. Yes. That was the other thing. See, now, I'm, I'm, uh, Tim Burton's Batman. Everybody shits on it. We shit on it. I shit on it. I love it. I do too, though. I don't. I don't shit on it. I mean, even <laughs> though I'm shitting on Dark Knight Rises, I loved it. But the thing, the the parts that bring me back to liking the 1989 Batman is, I mean, a Michael Keaton was a good Batman. I don't care what nobody says. I'm even gonna go ahead and say the best Batman, <clears throat> but that could be the nostalgia of my youth. I'm still the only one that agrees. Oh, my other my friend agrees with me though. George that Clooney. Val Kilmer was oh, Val, Val Kilmer. Kilmer was a good uh, Bruce Wayne. Fair enough. However, <clears throat> okay, uh, Jack Nicholson as the Joker. He did a good job. I do think Heath Ledger did it better, but Heath Ledger was in a different style of movie. Jack Nicholson was a comic book villain. You know, with the funny things and and um, over or blown out of proportion, like a comic book would be. Whereas Heath Ledger's Joker was more of a cynical. Cynical. Well, not not just cynical. Like I agree with that wholeheartedly, but more what I'm getting at is is a um, realistic, an, an actual possibility. Yes. Yes. In fact. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Like. You could, yeah, that could happen. Jack Nicholson's Joker, I don't think could happen. But because the 1989 Batman was based partly on the killing joke, which was Alan Moore's uh, Batman story, right? I think that's part of why I like it. 
It could be it. But I don't like, like, ah. if you read enough of the comic, the Joker is somebody who either has no backstory or a lot of backstories, depending on how you look at it. You know what I mean? I don't mean? think I've ever known. Well, and that's the whole point, is that he doesn't really have one. He's just, he just can't, the, the only backstory I know is he came out of nowhere and stayed. And that and that's kind of the thing, because, like, um, when the you fuel. delve into the, uh, I don't think psychosis is the right word, but it's the first word, the, the psychology of the Joker, um, the, what Dark Knight did right was, want to know how I got these scars? And it was a different story each time. Both times. And I kind of wish they would have put a third story into it. There are only two stories. He said it three times, but there are only two stories. Yeah. yeah, but because there are people out there who are fucked up enough that they, depending on what day you ask them, they remember it themselves in a different way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, um, and as far as I know, I know oh, we need a comic book guy on. Somebody who's read more than I have. What were you going to ask? Well, just like the Joker has had a, a few, like, <clears throat> in the comic book the, world. about the Red Hood? The, well, yeah, there's the Red Hood storyline. Um, there's a couple of other ones, but at the same time, Sometimes it gets written out as he doesn't have an origin story. He doesn't have a real name. Like, if you, if you Google that, yeah. Joker's real name... Hold on, I'm going to punch this in here. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. It's the in front of the Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The. His real name is the? To <laughs> him. Yeah, so, like, there is no straight answer. You know what I mean? Like, there's uh, 12 different it, answers, it, it, and... Because there's so many different interpretations of that character. Adaptions. Yeah. And again, the Joker has also been around for 70 fucking years, right? It's not really adaptions. Well, yeah, adaptions, retconning. It's, it's retconning adaptions. is what they call it. Retroactive continuity. Yeah. They do that in comic books a lot. But yeah, the Joker has been around for 74 years. It was a year, about a year after they started running the comic books for Batman, and he came out like about maybe two months after Robin did. Yeah, well, he was. The boy wonder. The Joker was yeah. in Batman number one, but Batman mm, started yes. in Detective Comics number yeah, 27. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But anyways, yeah. So, I don't know the, the story I've always known about. The Joker, and I know there's a bunch of them, was that he was a, like a mobster or whatever. Not like a big guy, but just a normal dude. Yeah. And then one day he, he, he was in too deep. That's why I liked it when he's like, oh, you know, one, you know, sharks and all that stuff, and the whole gambling debt. I kind of like that little part in, in The Dark Knight. I was like, all right, you know, mm -hmm. there's, there, there's been some stories where I've seen his wife get fucked up, <laughs> you know, or they're at least threatened. Well, they, they hit both... Uh... Both of the biggest um, origin stories. One of them, the one that I knew was the whole thing about his parents, his father being psychotic and tortured yeah. him and killed his mom. And I, I have heard of the other one about his wife and the whole card sharks and stuff. Well, that that's what the basis for the Red Hood. Um, yeah, that, that one's the. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that, that's Hood why he had story. to go do the robbery as the Red Hood. Uh, fuck, you know, <clears throat> I want to bring a comic book guy on. Yeah, basically it was like, hey, you know, you either do this deal for us or not, and he put the red hood over himself. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, and that was... That was in Killing Joke. Yeah. Mm. Yes. The one for mine is somewhere mid-90s, I think. Maybe mid-80s? Yeah. Killing yeah. Joke never... The Killing Joke didn't have that part. Yeah, Killing Joke had the red hood part. I don't think so. Have you read the book? Yes, but I can't. That's something I can't remember. When was the last time you read it? Three years ago. You know what? We should. I think we Get should. We should check this out. We we for next week, if we remember, 
are going to do our homework and figure out more about the Joker's creation story. We, which version? <laughs> exactly. Because we can go by the Joker's son story in Batman well, Beyond. Okay, so me and the kid went to the comic book store, and I said, okay, you grab five, I'll grab five, and we'll, we'll trade, right? And she bought one called The Joker's Daughter, part of the New 52. Oh, that's the complete, yeah, that's a complete new set. Yeah, 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 because they rebooted all of them, right? Yeah, they, they threw everyone's story <coughs> out of the window and yeah. let them yeah, do I a mean, new adaptation. Yeah, I mean, rebooting a comic book is, is no big deal. I mean, how else do you tell a story that's 70 years old, right? You start at the beginning sometimes. But Joker's Daughter was probably one of the most fucked up uh, cape and tights comic story that I've read in a while. Like, I, I thought it was a little grown up for my daughter, to be honest with you. Okay. Well, so a lot of stories in the past. Yeah. <laughs> all right. This is annoying me. Yeah, I, I do remember seeing the Red Hood now, because, yeah, it, it, all, it all adds up to the, the joke at the very end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember I that. love the, yeah. the actual joke. The uh, Let's not spoil it. Get people out there reading the spoil killer it. joke. It's been around for, like, 20-some years. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean anything anymore. Which is weird. I still waiting. I'm still waiting for them to approve uh, Mark Hamill to read The Killing Joke. Oh, that Even would be it. amazing. Well, yeah, isn't that like the last Batman thing he wants to do as the Joker? Yeah, it's not that. Because he's, that's what I, oh, he's done. It's not, that, it's not that the last thing. It's that want, he wants that to be his ultimate swan song for the Joker. Yeah, because I thought he was, as of right well, now, the he's animated done. version. Yeah, he wants, anim- he wants the animated version of that of that book, basically like like at year one. He doesn't stuff. want an animated version. He would love an animated version, but what he wants to do is do a straight audio reading of that book. Hmm. Well, that's 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 not entirely up to him. That's the thing. That's no, 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 no. That's what he wants. No, I know, but I'm saying that's. that's we know sucks. that's not up to him. He, he needs approval of DC. He just read it. He can read it, but he can't record it. <laughs> no, he can't publish it. <laughs> Anybody can record anything. You just can't make any money off of it. Like, Johnny can read a comic book, and he could record it and then put it up. You don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. You're saying that he can't make money off of it. He, like, he can't do it because DC won't let him. Anybody can read a comic book, and they, anybody can like, do an audio book. You just can't put it like, as, like, oh, okay, this is the official so-and-so. Because then, like, no, we're trying to do the same thing. It's like saying, like, I want to make a movie on fucking you know, any Disney character. But I got to change it up. <laughs> I can't charge anybody for watching it. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know why this is funny to me. I don't understand either. <laughs> Okay, okay, moving on. <laughs> or not moving on. Here's the thing. <laughs> oh, I think I'm just getting the giggles because of caffeine. Well, oh, I'm going to go by the awkward silence we have now. That the show has officially wound down. And I think we're done for the week. What do you guys think? Yep. Yeah. I'm say I need you to send me the, the files though, Johnny. I can do um, that. Because um, for some reason, when I joined the call, it was recording on a different recorder than the one I wanted to, and the settings aren't mess around with that. Like, you know, they're they're not all they're not messed up in any way. It was, it's just on. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I will send down the audio. You will be able to watch this on youtube.com forward slash uncultured swine cast or you can listen to the audio version at johnnywhitetrash.com. It'll be sitting there. There'll be a nice little uncultured swine picture on the right hand side. You could click and listen to all the audio only versions that we have. We still don't really have a proper outro, do we? 